learning Korean through Samulnori. Korean class for local employees in the United States. Flora Holland, the world's largest flower market. Korean dance production on the European stage. Korean computer graphic designer Lee Soyeon in Hollywood. Hello, welcome to Going Global. I'm your host, Chong Se-mi. European countries, including France and Italy, have recently experienced a heat wave sweeping across Western Europe, making temperatures to rise as high as 40 degrees Celsius. Fears are also rising that the continental heat wave in the summer of 2003 that led to more than 70,000 deaths could be repeated this year. Such high temperatures due to climate change have not only hit Europe. In June, a heat wave that swept parts of southern Asia resulted in a huge loss of life. It caused more than 2,200 deaths in India and over 1,200 in Pakistan. It seems like the Earth is giving us a warning in many ways. And now, heat wave preparedness and alert systems have become important for many countries. And let's hope that there will be no more deaths or accidents from heat waves in the future. And here's our first story of the day. An elementary school in Melbourne, Australia, has a student Samuel Nori team. This Korean traditional percussion music is helping the students learn more about Korean culture and language. Let's take a look. Australian students are on the stage with Korean traditional instruments. They each play their instrument to the beat of the leading gong. They are joined by a Samuel performance team from Korea for the first time and give an exciting and lively performance together. The students are members of Hansarang, a Samulnori team from an elementary school in Australia, performing at the Second Korea Festival. I think it's brilliant. I, I think it's fantastic. Hansarang is short for Hanguk Sarang, which means love for Korea. The team was established in July last year and has 13 members consisting of 5th to 6th grade students who are learning Korean as a second language. It's really cool because you get to learn and play at the same time and you're with all your friends and you learn more about Korean culture, history and music. Han Sarang was formed by Lee Chisun, who's been teaching Korean in Australia for the past nine years. After learning that the students were able to memorize the lyrics of Korean children's songs easily, Lee created a Samulnori class where she can teach the Korean language and traditional music and instruments at the same time. She prepared the Korean traditional instruments at her own expense and started to teach the instruments every Thursday during lunchtime. Members of Hansarang learn not only Samulnori but also fan dance and nanta performance. As their understanding of Korean culture grows, they are hoping to be better at speaking the Korean language. Now moving on to our next story. Korean schools mainly exist to help Koreans living overseas learn about Korean culture and the language so that they do not get confused about their identity. A Korean school in the U.S. state of New Jersey has gone even further. They're offering a Korean language class for local Americans, and a lot of people are showing interest. Let's take a look. A Korean language class is being held at a hospital in the U.S. state of New Jersey. The students in the class are employees at this hospital. From essential Korean vocabulary for hospital services to simple greetings. Thanks to the step-by-step -step lesson, they slowly find the language easier and more accessible than before. I think it's necessary because we have a lot of uh, Korean patients who's here in Inglewood Hospital, and it's something that I'm interested in learning. The Englewood Hospital and Medical Center has many Korean visitors since it's located near a Korean community. More than 40,000 Koreans visit the hospital every year. 
The hospital hired a Korean staff two years ago and started offering interpretation services for Korean patients, but due to increasing demand, it asked a local Korean school for Korean language education. 한인 환자들을 돌보는 의료진들께서 한국어에 대한 관심이 생기기 시작을 하셨어요. 그러다 보니까 많은 스태프들이 저희한테 한국어 인사, 또 한국말 이런 것을 이제 하나씩 하나씩 물어보시고 또 관심을 갖기 시작을 했습니다. The hospital's Korean language course is held every Wednesday separated into three classes. About 20 people take the 10-week language course each time. At the first session of the introduction of the Korean alphabet in March, more than 80 employees attended. 다른 관공서나 어떤 큰 회사 같은 데서 한국 사람들을 대상으로 하려면 한국어를 좀 배워야 된다 이런 붐이 일어나기를 좀 기대하고 있습니다. As the Korean language class at the hospital became more well known, many Americans are showing interest in taking a Korean class themselves. An overseas Korean school is now playing an important role in introducing the Korean language and culture to American society. And here's our next story. A lot of people tend to regard a cooperative as a small-sized organization. But in the Netherlands, a small cooperative that started as a flower auction has now grown into the largest flower market in the world. Let's take a look. Cards carrying boxes of flowers are busy on the move. This is the distribution center at Alsmere Flower Auction, otherwise known as Flora Holland, the largest flower market in the world. The market welcomes more than 2,500 visitors each day, with over 20 million flowers being sold daily. The trade of flowers here account for more than half of the total flower sales in the Netherlands. It is the biggest auction in the world, so uh, all the demands of the clients, you never have to sell no. You always will find a solution. If some type of flower isn't uh, available at that moment, you will get another type. So you have a big assortment, so you can choose between other flowers. Flora Holland is a huge auction complex, more than 20 times bigger than the Yangtze flower market, the largest flower market in South Korea. Flora Holland achieved its fame with its flower auction that boasts more than 100 years of history. The auction here is different and unique from other auctions. In the beginning, the price is set high and then drops until someone buys. This is because freshness is the most important thing for flowers, and their value drops as time passes. The auctioneer starts the price high and it runs backwards. And that's a tricky part, because if you're sitting there and you wait too long because you want to have a cheap price, at that moment you can miss out a product when your colic is pressing quicker. Alsmere is a town where cultivation of flowers became active from the early 20th century. At that time, middlemen would make excessive profits through price fixing in the distribution process. This is why 28 flower growers came together and created a flower auction for the first time. After preventing money from leaking out in the distribution process, they were able to offer products to consumers for a reasonable price. It's a firm they, they work for uh, the growers and they, they don't work for the uh, pro profit. They just have the, the, the place to, uh, to sell the, the stuff, but they don't work for the profit. It's just a cooperation. The cooperative, consisting of growers, do not get any government support. It is operated through membership fees and commissions from auction participants. Among more than 4,500 members, there are not only people from large companies, but also individual growers. It has become a successful example of a cooperative company, which is rarely seen around the world. Apart from the flower auction, the cooperative also runs various companies, factories and research centers to raise market competitiveness. The research center that's in charge of managing flower quality for the auction and developing new varieties has more than 3,000 workers. With the help of continuous development of new varieties, the Netherlands now has over 500 types of lilies compared to only about 10 in the 1960s. Also, with constant efforts to improve flower quality, Flora Holland has gained trust from consumers. The main thing that the grower brings in top quality, and as the buyer can read that, he is happy and he recognizes the name of the grower. So definitely when he starts buying the product, he knows that it is a top product, but what he will send abroad. 
a cooperative created by growers in Alsmeer, a small Dutch town with a population of only about 25,000, has helped the town become the flower capital of the world. Now let's move on to our next story. An artist couple from Korea recently premiered their dance production at an opera theater in Austria. It's a performance called Le Noces, or The Wedding, created by choreographer Yi Hae-kyung and composer Choi Myung-hoon. Let's meet the couple and go behind the scenes of the performance. A ceremony to awaken the woman from her grave. The man and woman dressed in shrouds express resentment and longing for each other through their dance. It's a soul wedding between King Cheoljong from the Chosun Dynasty and his first love, Pongi, whom he could never forget even after death. Ja, am besten hat mir die Szene gefallen, wo die vielen Tänzer unter diesem großen Schleier ähm, getanzt haben und dann halt diese schamanistische Musik im Hintergrund fand ich ganz toll umgesetzt. Les Noces, or The Wedding, which premiered in Austria, is a dance production by the Korean couple, choreographer Yi Hae Gyeong and composer Choi Myung Hoon. Korean dance moves were choreographed to Korean traditional music, such as folk songs, Kaegum, Sanjo, and Arirang. Europe, yesulgadiri, Dongyang, and Nunil, Doligo, Itarago, Santa Gramida, Unyamian, Punin, the Kajuk, and Suje, Pujera, Dunji, Punine, Umjigim, Nesa, Bonga, Bongmar, Kaitim, Gatengotter, Dongyang, Yesuleso, Odus, Itarago. The Lynn State Theatre in Austria invited the couple to stage the production for a premiere. It's the first time that a Korean artist's work was introduced at this theater, where every year, five different groups reside and produce around 30 new pieces, including opera and dance. It's also a rare case for a Korean contemporary dance program to be put on during the theater's repertoire season. This this Noces, which had seven performances until early July, had all of the performance halls, 1,500 seats sold out. Lin State Theater also asked Yi Hae Gyeong to choreograph an opera scheduled for November this year. Now here's our last story of the day. In movies, we often see heroes flying in the sky or monsters and aliens from outer space. But these don't exist in reality. They're all created through visual effects. In Hollywood, there is a Korean computer graphic designer who is using her skills to create imaginable worlds in movies. Let's meet Lee Soyeon and find out more about her success story. Iron Man in an armored suit tries to save Earth. You erase the visual effects and the suit that he was wearing is gone. A huge cargo that falls in front of a speeding vehicle is also computer graphics. These scenes in the film were created by computer graphic designer Lee Soyeon. I was thinking about Iron Man in my mind. I was thinking about the job 새로운 작업이었고 또 그게 크게 히트를 쳤던 것 같아서 또 사람 12 years ago, E was already a well-known web designer in South Korea. However, after watching the film Toy Story, she found new possibilities in computer graphics and this encouraged her to quit her job. When she canceled her four-year installment savings to go to the United States and study computer graphics, many people urged her to think again. 제가 100% 완벽하게 준비가 되어 있었다고 생각하진 않아요. 그 음, 완벽하진 않아도 기회가 언제든지 올수 있으니까 그 언제 올지 모르는 기회를 꼭 잡을 수 있는 용기가 굉장히 중요한 것 같아요. At her first job in the US, E would end up crying because she couldn't understand her boss's English. But as she gradually proved herself with her skills, she was given the opportunity to participate in hit films such as Iron Man and Men in Black. She's always willing to follow, you know, the direction. You know, she's understand the direction, like, quick, about how things get it done, and she get it done. She has a really good uh, artistic eye. Outside, E is a successful career woman, but when she comes home, she's just a caring mother spending time with her children. 
From reading books to playing with balls, when she spends time with her two young daughters, she has no time to rest. Yi's husband was her colleague at her first job in America. She liked his earnestness, and after about a year of dating, she proposed to him first. Now he has become her greatest supporter at work and at home. Uh, you know, she she grows at her at her level. I mean, it's not about what I want her to grow. You know, we we support each other. Yi says she will do her best to maintain the balance between work and family, and she's always dreaming to taking a new step in her life. Never let go of an opportunity in your life, and be brave to seize it. Yi wants to share her philosophy with people who also dream of becoming a graphic designer. 꿈을 이루고 싶어하는 그런 사람들이랑 교류할 수 있는 자리를 많이 만들 수 있는 그런 위치에서 어설수 있는 사람이 됐으면 좋겠어요. I hope you enjoy the stories that we shared today on Going Global. Recently, an old couple in San Diego in the U.S. state of California died just hours apart as they held hands in bed. They were married for 75 years and their final wish was to pass in each other's arms. This couple's incredible and beautiful story could be the ultimate wish of many couples around the world. Now, Going Global will be back next week with more exciting and inspiring stories from all around the world that will touch your hearts. Thank you for watching.